All right, today I'm going to go over how to make a smooth surf ramp in Hammer Editor. Um, this will be my first video recording in a couple days because I got sick a couple days ago and had a little bit of a sore throat. So my voice might still be kind of a little bit raspy or whatever. So please bear with me. And also my good microphone decided to crap out on me. So the audio recording quality probably isn't as good. It probably sounds more echoey. Okay, first, open up your map and create a block that is roughly, well, first of all, switch your grid unit size to 16 units or so. <clears throat> then create a block that is roughly, roughly the, the dimensions of, of a surf ramp. So, let's see here, roughly a width of 512 units and a height of... 448 that might make a pretty decent size surf ramp. I uh, give it a no draw texture. Now you have your block here. Now what you want to do select your your clipping tool by pressing shift X or clicking this icon over here and clip it from the side, the bottom side all the way up to the top center. Just like that. And get rid of that side. Then do the same for the opposite side. <clears throat> now when you're clipping make sure the red lines are, or the, the section of the block that you want clipped off is highlighted in red on the grid. Okay, so you have your first segment of surf ramp, just like this. All right, now what you want to do is <clears throat> increase the width of this segment to about 128 units, just like that. Now, take this segment, hold shift, drag, and duplicate it and move it off to the side just so you have a segment that's untouched that you can go back to and use whenever you want. Kind of like a template, I guess. Okay, now go back to your working block, highlight it, shift, drag, and duplicate it just like that and move it off to the side. Then press Control M to go to your transformation menu and rotate it about five degrees in the direction that you want your surf to go. So in my case, it should be five degrees on the y-axis. Okay, so now that I have my segment rotated, I'm gonna go to my vertex tool by pressing Shift V or clicking this icon over here while the segment is still highlighted and then create a, a box select around all the vertices of that segment so all of the white cubes are highlighted red and select the bottom corner down here and drag and drop it directly on this grid unit, on this grid section right here. So it lines up perfectly with the corner of the previous segment. Okay, <clears throat> let's select both of our current segments, go to the vertex tool, and highlight all the vertices of both of the segments, and move this corner on grid so we can do the same thing with the next segment, just like that. Okay, duplicate this segment, rotate it another five degrees, go to the vertex tool, highlight all the vertices, and move it exactly on grid with the previous segment's corner, just like that. <clears throat> now let's move these three segments on grid and duplicate all three of them. So that, now that we have three segments, each of them rotated by five degrees, we can take all three of them and rotate them together 15 degrees and it will line up perfectly with the previous rotation. Go to the vertex tool, highlight the vertices, put it on grid, just like that. And that's basically it. You can rotate each segment of surf ramp by 3 degrees, 5 degrees, 7 degrees, or whatever, whatever you want to create your surf ramp exactly how you want to make it. So you can also increase the width of your segments to say 256 units to make a longer surf ramp with a more drawn out curve or you can decrease it to 60, 64 units. Let's see what's going on. You can decrease it to 64 units to create a tighter curve. I'm going to make another surf ramp real quick with um, a width of 256 units per segment and four segments, or actually six segments, just so you can see what it looks like 
with 256 unit segments. So there's two, four, and that on grid, four, ten. Okay, so there's right there is six segments. Each segment is rotated by five degrees and each segment's width is 256 units. That right there looks like a pretty smooth ramp to surf. And now I'm going to create a surf ramp with 64 width segments, 64 unit width segments, and rotate each segment by seven degrees. Get this lined up on grid real quick, okay. Each segment is going to be rotated by 7 degrees, and each segment has a width of 64 units. As you can see, it's looking pretty tight, and it's not looking very surfable. 14. So if you want to create a really, really sharp curve, maybe like at the bottom half of a surf ramp, um, you might want to do something like that. But typically, the more segments you have in one small area, the more the player is going to glitch out while he's surfing. Okay, well that's basically it for creating smooth surf ramps. If you have any questions or you can't figure it out or whatever, post a comment below or send me a message and I'll be happy to help. We die.